Hudayfa ibn al-Yaman, the man with courage and cunning, the spy and secret keeper of Rasulullah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Prophet Muhammad was and still is the most extraordinary leader of all time. His remarkable attributes of compassion, patience, mercy, wisdom, and true discipline to his mission amazes everyone from friends to foes. As an exemplary commander, Prophet Muhammad was also very strategic and tactical. One notable policy of the Prophet was that he recognized and implemented the special qualities and strengths of each individual companion of his. He was careful to deploy the right man for the right task. And when it came to espionage and acquiring intelligence, Prophet Muhammad chose Hudayfa ibn al-Yaman. Hudayfa ibn al-Yaman was one of the early converts to Islam and shared a very close relationship with the Prophet. He had some special qualities such as his unique intelligence which he employed in dealing with difficult situations, his quick-wittedness and spontaneous response to the call of action, and his ability to keep a secret even under intense interrogation. One of the most critical instances which required the use of Hudayfa's intelligence and his presence of mind was during the Battle of Trench. The Muslims were in a dire situation, surrounded by enemies from both fronts. They were besieged for a month and undergoing severe hardship and difficulties. Not only had they expended practically all their efforts, but were exhausted, and in the intense pressure of the situation, some had even began to despair. On the other hand, the enemies, the Quraysh, and their allies were not in any better of a position. After a month of siege to no progress, their strength and determination had been sapped. And when violent winds overturned their tents, extinguished their fires, and pelted their faces and eyes with gusts of sand and dust, many began to root. At this crucial stage of warfare, the Prophet sought to know the latest developments in the enemy camp. It was a dark night. A storm was raging the deserts. Though the Muslims were stubborn and perseverant, there was fear and anxiety in everyone's heart. In addition to that, hunger and exhaustion had taken a toll on them. In these circumstances, who would have the strength and courage to go amidst the perils of the enemy camp and penetrate it to gather intelligence and news? This was a mission fraught with danger and possibly death and the Prophet selected Hudayfa to go under cover of the darkness and bring him information before he decided on his next move. Hudayfa was afraid of the consequences, as would anyone, but he was obedient to the Prophet and immediately set out on his task. And what happened to him that night was absolutely amazing. Hudayfa ibn al-Yaman related the incident as such. That night, the Muslims were all seated in rows. Abu Sufyan and his men, the Mushrikun of Mecca, were in front of them, and the Jewish tribe of Banu Quraiza were at their rear. The Muslims were afraid of them because of their women and children. The night was stygy and dark. Never before was there a darker night nor a wind so strong. So dark was the night that no one could see his fingers and the blast of wind was like the peal of thunder. The hypocrites began to ask the Prophet for permission to leave, saying, our houses are exposed to the enemies. Anyone who asked the Prophet's permission was allowed to leave. Many thus sneaked away until there were left only about 300 of them. The Prophet then began a round inspection, passing everyone, until he reached Hudayfa. Hudayfa had nothing to protect himself from the cold except a blanket that belonged to his wife, which scarcely reached his knees. The Prophet came near him as Hudayfa lay crouching on the ground and asked, Who is this? 
who therefore was too weary to stand up from the intense hunger and cold. But when the prophet called him by his name, he immediately replied, Yes, O messenger of God. The prophet then instructed him, Something is happening among the enemies. Infiltrate their encampment and bring me news of what's happening. Hulaifa immediately set out, despite the cold and fear he felt. The prophet prayed, O oh Lord, protect him from in front and from behind, from his right and from his left, from above and from below. As the prophet completed his supplication, suddenly Hulaifa felt all traces of fear from his stomach and all the punishing cold had been removed from him. But as he turned to go, the prophet called Hudaifa back and said, Hudaifa, on no account provoke the enemies or do anything among them until you come back to me. Yes, Hudaifa replied. He then went on, inching his way under cover of darkness and climbed down the deep trench. and back up onto the enemy camp. He continued until he penetrated deep into the camp and became just like one of them. Shortly afterwards, Abu Sufyan got up and began to address his men. O oh people of Quraysh, I am about to make a statement to you which I fear would reach Muhammad. Therefore, let every man among you look and make sure who is sitting next to him. On hearing this, Hudayfa was quick to act. He immediately grasped the hand of the man next to him and asked with confidence, Who are you? This clever strategy put Hudayfa on the defensive and cleared him of any suspicion. Abu Sufyan went on, O people of Quraysh, by God, you are not in a safe and secure place. Our horses and camels have perished. Banu Quraysh have deserted us, and we have had unpleasant news about them. We are buffered by this bitterly cold wind. Our fires do not light, and our unproved tents offer no protection. So get moving. For myself, I am leaving. Abu Sufyan then went to his camel, unthettered and mounted it. He struck it, and it stood upright. Abu Sufyan was in a position from where Huzaifa could have easily shot an arrow and taken his life. But remembering the instructions of the Prophet, Hudayfa did not do anything and made his way back to the Muslim camp. Upon returning, Hudayfa found the Prophet standing on a blanket performing salah. When the Prophet recognized him, he wrapped Hudayfa in a blanket and Hudayfa informed him of what had happened. He was extremely happy and joyful and gave thanks and praise to Allah. And so was the story of the daring mission of Hudayfa ibn al-Yaman, the spy of Prophet Muhammad, or as he was known, the keeper of the secret of the Messenger of Allah. Like, share, and subscribe to create awareness. We are also available on Facebook, Twitter, and PalTalk.